he had two choices, either to, you know, choose the street or to choose the ring, and he had to make his mind up. I said, I already got a nickname picked for you. I'm gonna call you Hard Face Mason. He hadn't even started boxing yet. And one of the top prospects, not only in Cincinnati, but in all the Midwest, is light heavyweight Richard Hardface Mason. They call him Hardface Mason because he rarely cracks a smile. That's one of a kind big thing. You ain't gonna hear that name again. That belongs to one person, one, and that's me. Hardface would take a bullet for anybody in my family. Honestly, I, I know that in my heart. It's more on a, not just a coach level, it's more on a friendship, like closely family type level. Richard, he always keep your head going, tell you what's the best thing to do. A hard face feel as if, you know, I can actually make it, I can actually do something with it, even though I didn't start off as young as others. When you lose, we lose. When you win, we win. So if you want to be a real life dedicated fighter, you got to do what y'all got to do. Like I said, I'm not going to half-ass with y'all, and I don't want y'all to half-ass with me. Bottom line. First year, David won the U.S. National Championships. I couldn't get a news crew up here to do anything on him. Not one thing. But if he would have went out and he would have shot somebody, every news camera in the tri-state area would have been here. The worst thing you would deal with with a fighter is knowing they're making the wrong decision and you can't change their mind. For years and years, I've been telling my mom, I want to box, I want to box. And I kept getting into street fights, and she finally decided to put me in there. Ain't nobody in this weight class gonna be ready for him, for real. All they gotta do is turn him over. That's it. Only difference is now, I'm doing the rap instead of getting rapped. 